AITA for being culturally insensitive at work? I, 27F, have recently moved to the US. I'm originally from Iran. I was actually born and raised there. I recently started my residency in the US and honestly I couldn't be happier. The Persian New Year, Noruz, is almost here. I used to celebrate with my family and I was kind of feeling a bit homesick this year. So I decided to celebrate the new year the best I could. To do that, I have gone through with the traditions. That includes half team, getting a few fish, living red fish to put on the table, cooking and painting eggs, and all the stuff that comes with Noru's. I constantly listen to Noru's themed songs nowadays. And I've been feeling kind of weird. As an inevitable part of the celebration, I asked a few of my friends, my only friends or co-workers at this point, to come over on the day of the new year. Some couldn't. Some could. One of my colleagues told me that I was being culturally insensitive by inviting people to celebrate something they didn't even know about. Another said I was being ridiculous by playing these songs in my car. I was dropping him off and he said this right before getting out of the car. I haven't really been around non-Persians around Noru's and I honestly have no idea if I am overstepping people's boundaries. Please tell me if I should change the way I approach this. Su NTA. Your co-workers are being ridiculous and culturally insensitive themselves. I'd personally love to be invited by a friend to celebrate a holiday I knew nothing about and therefore learning about it. And who cares what you listen to in your car? Why is it weird that you'd listen to music from your own culture? Plenty of Americans listen to Christmas music for months before Christmas. NTA. If anyone is being culturally insensitive it's those co-workers of yours that are actively bashing your culture. You're fine. And I hope you and your friends have an amazing time celebrating the new year together. NTA. Here in Italy we call people like them, Pina nel seat low, that means, pine cones in the awe. People who try their best to be as unpleasant as possible while pretending to have high morals. NTA. I have no idea why anyone would think you were being culturally insensitive. Celebrate what you want, and ignore anyone who tells you not to. You're not doing any harm. NTA. You're not asking them to adopt your beliefs. You're just asking them to come have some fun and share your culture with them. I've invited Muslim friends over for Easter celebrations for instance and there's never been any problems I'm not going to ask them to say prayers or anything. It's just barbecue and egg cracking. NTA at all. Most people would be thrilled to be invited to a new to them celebration also if someone tells you off for the music you list day to in your own car while giving them a ride that should be the last time you give them a ride let that racist asshole walk themselves home there is no place in the world where what he said wouldn't be considered immensely rude nta your co-workers are being narrow-minded and culturally insensitive I'd celebrate Noru's with you. And this is the first time I'm even hearing about it. It isn't even like you're pressuring them to attend, and if you're driving, you get to control the music. If he doesn't like it, he can walk. So Christians can do for Christmas but other religions can't? You aren't being culturally insensitive they are. They're also being bigots. You need new friends. Happy Noru's. NTA. NTA for me. You play what you want in your damn car. You're not playing them at your desk at work. You celebrate what you want. If people, like me, don't know what it is they can just ask and you surely will be pleased to tell them or they can just Google it. It doesn't look like you're imposing it so I don't see what the problem is. You may be one of the most NTA posters that I've encountered on this sub. 
I've no idea what Norus is. What's required and I personally don't know any Iranian people. If you invited me to these festivities the cultural insensitivity would come if I didn't make the effort to learn what it was about in order to celebrate it with you. A happy Persian New Year to everyone though. Another said I was being ridiculous by playing these songs in my car. I was dropping him off. No good deed goes unpunished huh? NTA. And sorry you got stuck with a bunch of weird assholes for co-workers. NTA. I suspect these people are racist. Which is sad. Because there's no rational reason to call someone culturally insensitive for inviting them over. For a celebration or playing Persian music. IDK where you Aryan there are loads of non-Persians who would celebrate Noru's with you but you may. Want to look for a local Persian community for support. In California, there are ton of people of Persian ancestry. Or from Iran. In Los Angeles and Orange County. For example. NTA. You are wanting to share your culture with others. How are you the asshole for that? You're being open and inclusive. And they act like you're shoving it down their throats. They're the assholes for shunning you and expecting you to conform to their way of life. Wow. What a bunch of jerks. NTA. NTA. As an American, I would help you celebrate if I could. NTA. You didn't force them to partake. I would be honored if a new co-worker felt comfortable enough with me to invite me to a celebration. That was culturally important to them. NTA. You can listen to whatever music you like in your car and you did not force anyone to come in. Celebrate. You asked and they could accept or decline. They are being culturally insensitive. Not you. Not NTA. And what stupid comments from your friends. The beauty of life is learning and new experiences. Continue sharing your culture. I hope you make new friends who appreciate it. What a bastard you are for inviting people round. Presumably feeding and watering them and sharing something new to them from your culture. NTA. NTA nothing wrong with celebrating your holidays and including other people. The only thing I would suggest is to explain the holiday traditions with your friends. Most Americans are very open to other traditions and the ones that are not. You really don't want as your friends. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.